been watching YouTube videos about supplements, all kinds of things, especially about bike racing and let's say you want to prepare your bike. It's easy to test. Yes, yes. Nice and spinny. Oh, very, very easy to test. My chain's downstairs, soaking, I mean, cleaner. I'm gonna get that all fast for racing on Saturday. But that's easy. A lot of you are probably taking supplements, or you wanna take supplements. But if you're racing, you're probably taking supplements. And how do you know? How do you test? And so I watched a YouTube video today about you know, blood tests and whether you should take supplements, not supplements. And well, I'll tell you my experience because you know, I've been doing this for a long time. And some supplements have almost killed me and others have saved my life. And it's sort of important. So the first thing, of course, is the blood test. So how many of you can go to your doctor and say, you know, doc, I think my testosterone is too low, or, oh, I think my iron is off, <laughs> or should I be taking magnesium? Well, your doctor is going to laugh at you or say, you're just an old man looking for drugs <laughs> like my doctor did. And they're not going to help you unless you're a pro. Maybe if you're a pro, you've got a special doctor, but if you just got a regular doctor, like most of us do, they're just not going to help you. And if you take supplements without knowing which ones to take, you could be, you know, really causing a lot of harm, just like your bike. If you set up your bike wrong, you could get really hurt, you could crash. I've seen it, I've been in it. It's really not pleasant, especially with your body. How many of you have heard of people, you know, on the news or whatever, anywhere, it says, oh, this person died because they took too much supplements. It's not a thing, never heard of it, but it happens. And in my case, I have a genetically low vitamin D. It's very low, it's about 15 and low is 30. So it's really low. And many, many doctors told me just take vitamin D without checking anything else. And I eventually questioned it because my blood calcium was going <coughs> really high and I would have had a stroke or a heart attack and they didn't care. They're never going to say, oh, this guy died from a heart attack because he was taking too much vitamin D. No, of course, a lot of people have to take vitamin D, but if you take vitamin D, you have to be really careful about your blood calcium levels. Especially if you're an old guy like me, I'm almost 60. <laughs> so your blood calcium, if it gets too high, it means the calcium is leaving your bones and going into your blood and basically causing hardening of the arteries. <clears throat> and you will <clears throat> get a heart attack or a stroke. Just the way it is. You don't want that, I wouldn't think. So luckily, I caught myself and uh, from a blood test and I saw my calcium was going up really high. And so I stopped following that advice of the doctor. And uh, that was really important. And at the same time, when I was bike racing and trying to train, I had a heart condition. My heart rate would go up to 224. It just boom, shoot up. And I went through a whole series of doctors uh, doctor said, oh, don't worry about it. The other doctor said, oh, you've got PTSD. Another doctor said, oh, you've just got a hole in your heart. <laughs> All kinds of things. Other doctors, yeah. Uh, so eventually, through a blood test, I, I, by the way, I paid, just paid for it myself. I use a company just on the, online. The doctor isn't going to help you with this. <laughs> okay, oh, I want a full analysis of my blood. No, I'm sorry, your doctor is not going to help you. No. So I use an online service. I do it myself. And 
uh, I found out uh, two years ago, it said uh, high risk of sudden cardiac death. So of course I go to my doctor at the time and he's, oh, I don't know. So I researched it. And if you just internet search for uh, sudden cardiac death omega index, you should see a study that comes up and it just says, take omega-3s, which is basically fish oil. And that solved my problem. So basically I can race again. Because many times in races, <clears throat> I'd have to stop because my heart rate would just oh, go jump. And I, the only way to stop it, you have to stop, you know, fall off the back. It's not good for racing or for general living, <laughs> but no doctor would help me. So you have to be very careful about supplements. And so I do a full analysis every year of all the supplements, basically. It tests pretty much almost everything, not quite everything, but it's a pretty good, pretty good check. Because um, a doctor is not your friend. Your doctor wants to make money <laughs> as much as they can before you die. And that's about it. Sorry. It's the way the world works. Bye.